there's a really desperate need for, for new approaches to, uh, to treating cancer. We saw we had some really, really good data that we could activate a part of the immune system that others basically can't. So we saw this as a really big opportunity to basically develop a whole new type of immunotherapy. And this could actually potentially be deployed for a variety of cancers. We wanted to try something else and just basic research we wanted to do something that's, so to say, closer to the patient. So the decision to start a company was actually not that difficult because here at Aarhus University there's a lot of other companies like Draupnia and Muna and Stipe and we got really inspired by them so we were like we have this extremely promising data and if they can start a company why can't we? We just decided to jump straight into it and start the company. As a first time founder you're extremely ambitious because you believe so much in your technology and there's no, no limits basically. So going out and talking to investors, it's a bit too, too ambitious just to say that you can make a new type of immunotherapy and then they ask you against what and you say everything and that's, the, that's not the right answer. You need to stay focused and investors, they want to see a, a, a focused story. The BII really helped us in the, in the sense that we framed the story the right way and then through the BII, we got exposed to a lot of investors and the discussion with many investors also helped us frame the story and build the business. So the next step for Commit Biologics is to raise some more funding to, to help us uh, develop and validate our lead compounds for, for treatment of cancer. But everything is looking extremely promising and we actually think that it has the potential to redefine cancer treatment. So I think the most important thing we have learned so far is that uh, as a team, you can achieve a lot, especially with the right people around you. And then the idea of making something that could potentially cure a lot of people for cancer is just extremely giving.